Hi guys, it's Chelsea and Chris and we are LVC Party, Party of, of Five. Five and today we have a relationship topic for you. We've gotten a few questions along the way and there were other things that we just, you know, added to the added to the list too that we wanted to discuss. So we'll just have a few series of videos that will be Address, related to yeah. that. So yeah. So if you have any more questions, feel free to leave it in the comments or email it to us. Um, but the first one that we are going to discuss is is it necessary to know about everything about your past relationships when you're in a new committed one? Tell you me want me thoughts. to go first? Yes. Okay. okay. My take on it is you never know, like I, I like to know what not to do. <laughs> so in that respect, yes, if there's something like if you're coming with some baggage, then yes, I need to know what that is before I jump into a relationship with you. Um, but do I need it brought up every time like this one will be like reminiscent? I remember that time. What? No, I don't need that's to hear even, it like that. That's that's exactly no, that is exactly how it happens. That is exactly how it happens. That's erroneous. Nope, that's erroneous. <laughs> That's exactly that's how no, it happened. That's not that kind of stuff. If it brings a smile to your face, you looking back or thinking back at the time that you was with an ex, no. Or I don't how need to crazy hear about that. it was and like, Lord Jesus, I don't know how you made me pull through that one. That's what it is. It's not, mm, take me back. No. It's not then Calgon, what's the smile take for? me away. What's the, smile for? the smile is for I almost died. I don't believe that. But that's <laughs> most times, yeah. It's like how how? You you shouldn't have to bring up your ex. For you know, I don't you don't have to bring them. You don't have to bring them up like specifically, but they'll be like any bring up anything to do with the time period when he was in college. It brings a fucking smile to your face. Well, college, your, yeah, college was amazing, but I didn't have exes in college. I had one. That don't count. Okay, well, take me back to college today. I'm going, and yeah, that's not that's not just saying. getting off topic now. That's what brings a smile to my face. Go ahead. So yes, I do believe that there are some things that do need to be disclosed. Like I said, if there's things that you're still working on, and you know your your partner, it's it's only fair to your partner to let them be know aware, about it. Right. Yeah, be aware of it. Um, like in my instance, I had I have an ex husband, so there is like I can't. There's no way to get around that. Right. You know what I mean? So that, of course, I'm gonna have to bring up. Some things because it's going to be reoccurring if it's i don't know what i don't bring up my exes with you you don't i'll be me. like yeah no i'm exes. very picky i was very picky with who i would like yeah, nah. be in a relationship right with. yeah you don't but have um but like in instances where if you were doing something that kind of resembled, I'll be like, see, this is exactly what so-and-so did and this is why I left them, so watch yourself. See, so no, that's not okay. That's <laughs> not all right. Then you should, you should communicate, be like, hey, I don't like X, Y, and Z because of how it makes me feel. Not because, you know, Joe Schmo or Jill no, Schmidt, I'm not whatever. No, you pay for past exes transgressions or whatever like i'm right. not i don't i don't do that right. and that's not you shouldn't do that either right but i mean i think you should know everything everything as long as it's not brought up in a way where it's like comparing right not in a comparative matter to but the current as far as like the facts i need to know because okay say we run into this person Oh, really? No, I'm really? just saying. <laughs> <saying. laughs> That's how you feel now. Suppose, suppose you run into this person. Wow. You, you need to know, okay, this is that past history, not specifically in detail, but emotional history. <laughs> you the lie. You, <laughs> you lie. And you should, you should, you should know. Hold you should up. not. No, Hold don't, up. don't. Okay, time out. Don't, time out. Time out. <laughs> don't do it. We're going to keep moving, okay? Don't, let's not go Wait there. a minute, though. No, this is... <laughs> no, we're going to keep moving. We're in the car. We're going to keep driving. So, I think that I feel that you should get a gist of how that relationship went. This way, should you run into a situation, you know where you, like, you how know the past. Right. Right. Or, okay, like, say, for example, if you have an ex that, like, constantly wants you back, and then we run into that person, 
I would know, okay, this person's gonna try and run some dumb shit, you know? That, that, that's what I mean. Not on February 3rd, you know, no. I don't need to know that, but I need to know a, um emotional summary of the relationship, if you will. Boom. Boom. Okay. If y'all yeah. want to know what story I was thinking no, of, you, you don't. gotta come in. You don't. Stop it. It's not. Because you's a lie. I'm not. So, I'm... yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's our take on. On that use a lot. Yeah, I'm talking about mean, like, use a lot. You like to omit things, but okay, whatever. Moving on. That's another story. Keep going. Okay. Well, that that's our take on it. Y'all, let us know what you think. Right. To summer to summarize, I think we need an emotional summary for each relationship, and you're saying that's fine as long as, as long as it doesn't turn into a comparison right. or it's reminiscent of right the good old times. Nah. I'm always gonna reminisce Not here college for that. every day, always. <laughs> so we hope you like this video. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Bye, yeah. Bye guys.